This is Solva. China is set to introduce a new connector standard, which is referred to as General Purpose Media Interface, in short, GPMI. Now, this new standard is more advanced than the current ADMI standards used globally. Now, the implication of this is that very soon devices such as TVs, laptops, and VR headsets could become faster, load faster, charge faster, and handle super sharp videos. Now, whilst this new standard sounds promising, there is a bigger problem here which I'll be diving deeper into in today's updates. By the way, a sub to this channel will be much appreciated. Currently, over 50 Chinese tech firms have agreed on the adaptation of this new connector standard, which is the GPMI. Now, what sets these new standards apart is the fact that it outperforms existing standards, such as the ADMI standard, display ports, USB 4 and Thunderbolt. Now, if you are to compare this new standard with the current standards used globally, the current standards looks very outmoded and far behind. Now, with these new standards China is adopting, the maximum data bandwidth is about 192 gigabits per second, which is about four times that of ADMI 2.1, and its maximum power output is twice that of USB 4. Now, the GPMI standard has been licensed already by the USB Implementers Forum, and major TV manufacturers and major tech brands such as TCL, Hisense and Huawei have already signed on to this new standard, which therefore means that very soon we'll be seeing the GPMI compatible products and cables both in China and the world at large. Now, my area of concern has to do with the adaptation of this new standard. Taking a look at how the world is gradually being fragmented, as well as the current tech war and trade war between the US, or let me say between the Western world and China, are we going to see a non-Chinese tech firm adopt this new standard? Or we are going to experience the fragmentation of a global tech market, where GPMI becomes the standard in China and Asia, Africa and some part of Western Europe and some part of the Western world, while Western markets such as the United States of America, the EU, and other markets sticks to the current or the advanced version of the USB 4 or ADMI version in the near future. We wait to see how the adaptation of this new standard goes. And I will be here as I always do to keep you updated on any happenings on this issue. Can you let me know your thoughts in the comment section? And if you find this content informative, can you not forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next update? See you in the next one. I'm out.